Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ali. I hope you're all doing well and are staying safe. Um, so today I wanted to share some of my Troll Beads designs with you guys. I have a couple of Foxtail bracelets and a couple of bangles to share with you guys. Um, so the first one is right here and as you can see this is on a Foxtail bracelet and the uh, lock I'm using is the roses lock. This was um, released on Mother's Day a couple of years ago. I really love this lock. It's really beautiful. Um, the roses and the leaves, so detailed. Really, really pretty. And then um, to start with, I have a spacer right here. I don't remember the name of this, but it is beaded and it is pretty big. Um, so I do have it on both ends and it kind of keeps the design in place and it doesn't let it float around everywhere, which I like. Um, and then I have a glass bead. This is called the Shimmer Bubble Joy. It's really pretty with all this copper glitter all over. And again, I have two of these. I have one here and I have one on this end. And I usually try and not get duplicates with troll beads. Um, but this one I felt would work really well as a pair just because I I feel it works as a neutral and kind of goes with so many of um, the beads in my collection. So it's kind of easy to balance with this one. Uh, the next glass bead I have on here is this one. And uh, this is a unique, so it doesn't really have a name. But I love the colors on this, the white on white, and then the copper and gold glitter with, you know, these hints of brown. Really, really pretty. And it goes really well with this um, Shimmer Bubble Joy as well. Next, I have the silver bead. This is called the Dandelion Bead. Really nice. Love how it's oxidized and really pretty. This one is uh, from one of my favorite kits and this is called the Forest Life Kit. And this particular bead is called the Acorns Bead. Um, as you can see, this one is completely opaque with this dark black background. And then it has these acorns on it that have white and um, mustard and pink, all those colors. Love this. I love the faceting on this as well. This one came out um, this spring, I believe, and this one is called Rays of Sun. Again, we have the uh, this copper glitter with the white stripes. Love this one. And you can also see some, you know, kind of like dark brown or burgundy-ish colored stripes as well. Now this is my centerpiece. Um, now this whole bracelet, um, this was designed with this bead in mind and this is one of the people's uniques that came out this year. This is called the Golden Fountain. And again, it has this copper glitter and the white kind of, you know, exploding like um, a fountain, so to say, inside the bead really really pretty and I have it flanked by two lotus beads the silver beads love these as well um then next to the uh the center piece I have this one and this is another unique again with the creams and whites as a base and the copper glitter and then it has these black spots on it Next to that one, I have this faceted bead. This is the birthday bead for 2021. Again, with the dark background and um, then it has these browns and off-white color. And I feel it works really well with this acorns bead. Um, they're both faceted. This one is opaque and this one is kind of, um, you know, kind of transparent. And this one has more color and this one is more brown, but I still think they really complement each other really well. Um, this one is another silver bead. I'm forgetting the name of this one. Nature something. I just don't remember right now. Um, but yeah, it has all these little faces on it. They're all different with flowers. 
And then this one was also part of the spring release and this one and this one, the rays of the sun, they're part of a glass kit released um, last spring. This one is called the Shimmer Petals Bead, again with the white, off-white, kind of, I feel a little bit of minty green too, with the copper glitter. And then as I said, another of the Shimmer Bubble Joys and another spacer. So this is the first bracelet design. Um, this is my next one, again, on a foxtail bracelet. This is the lock on this. This was actually part of a um, starter bracelet. Um, I don't remember the name. I really like this lock. It has these hearts on it that kind of look like petals to me, flower petals. And this one doesn't really scream for attention, this lock. Kind of, you know, subtle, so I really like it. Um, now, this one, again... Um, uh, includes this little bead which was one of the winners of the people's uniques and this is called the Egyptian stripe and probably my favorite bead from all the uniques that were released the people's uniques that were released this year look at this one you guys it's so pretty and I feel it's very sophisticated it has so many layers to it with all these colors the base has this kind of um you know, shiny, luminescent amber. And then on top you have, you know, these um, off-whites and yellows and different blues. Really, really pretty. So this bead was the inspiration for this bracelet design. Um, so that's why that's uh, my centerpiece. And then flanking this bead, I have two silvers. This one right here is called the Quiet Flower. And this one right here is called Birds of a Feather. They're really tiny silver beads and I feel they they look pretty. And then they give like the perfect um, break in between glass beads. Then flanking these two silver beads, on one side I have the white paper fold and on the other side I have the cream armadillo. And I love armadillo beads and this one is so versatile and actually these two I feel work really well together and balance each other out. Then flanking these two on one side I have the silver hydrangea bead and on the other side I have the rose bead. Now this one doesn't look like roses to me, Mo looks more like daisies I feel but it's called the roses, a rose bead, not the roses, the rose. Then on this side of the hydrangea, I have two glass beads. This one is a unique. It has these different shades of blue and polka dots. And then this one is called Golden Cave. Now the glass itself has this uh, really light lavender colored glass. Then the base of the bead has off-whites and browns and purples. And then it has this um, swath of um, gold uh, foil running through it. Really, really pretty. And then on the other side, I have these two. So this one is a gemstone. This is called the Lapis Lazuli and it has this beautiful dark blue color with the gold veining, really, really pretty. And then this one is called Amber Violets. Love the base, it has that amber colored base. And then the flowers on top are these Aurora-like purple flowers, really, really pretty. And then this design has, um, I have this design in between these two copper spacers. So that's the other one. So I designed both of these bracelets with the uniques in mind, uh, the people's uniques. These are the two I bought. Um, I also eventually want to get um, the faceted unique, which is called Cosmos. It has pinks and blues in it. That's really pretty as well. Then next, I want to share a bangle design with you guys, and it is this one. This is the heart 
bangle from Trolby. And on here I have this beautiful gorgeous pendant and this is called Nature Girl and this is my favorite uh, pendant that Troll Beads has ever done. I usually wear it on my fantasy necklace but sometimes I do like to wear it on my bracelet. Now this is a hefty piece, it is really big, so I like to keep the design simple because otherwise it becomes too bulky. And um, yeah, she is so detailed and so beautiful, I love her. I do have this uh, spacer on here, I'm forgetting the name of this, but um, that I have that and then Nature Girl. And then Nature Girl on top has this um, kind of space that nestles um, a glass bead and so the first one I have on here is this purple stripe this is really pretty really versatile and simple um, and then the other one I have on here this is called Aurora flowers and you can see why the base is this orange and purple um, shining through and then it has these flowers on it this Aurora Flowers and um, this one, the Amber Violets, they are part of, um, uh, it's called a, a, the Purple Heaven kit, I believe. And these are the only two I have so far, but I would love to get the others as well. Now, this is a retired kit, so I probably need to jump on it and get, um, you know, get the other beads soon before I can't find them. But yeah, this is my first bangle design and it looks really pretty on the wrist, um, really comfortable. As I said, if you keep it simple, Nature Girl um, actually looks really pretty on a bangle. And then the last design I want to share with you guys is another bangle and this is on the copper bangle. Um, I really do love this bangle. I know lots of people um, are kind of... Um, not too fond of the copper because it tends to patina which I actually like the patina and it's fairly easy to clean I just um, you know put it on a dish uh, squirt some ketchup on leave it for 15 minutes and then wipe it clean and it's you know it's shiny as new so um, anyways I have the copper bangle and the copper spacers and then the first bead I have on here, this is called the Magical Lamp Bead. Really pretty with all this beautiful glitter. And then it has these hints of blues and kind of like light greens. Really, really pretty. Then I have this pink um, pearl. The centerpiece is this beautiful um, silver bead. This is called the Compassion Rose. This released for Mother's Day this year. So it has these two roses in silver. And then it has a pink um, pearl. And then you have these leaves. Really pretty. And as I said, this is flanked by two pink pearls. And then this last glass bead I have on here, this is called the Rainbow Bridge. Um, the base is blues and pinks, and then it has all this glitter running over it. Now this bead has so much variation. This is a retired bead. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I really love this. And I've seen a bunch of people with this bead, but it's always been so different from what I have. So yeah, this one does have a lot of variation. So yeah, anyways, you guys, these are some of the bracelet designs I wanted to share with you guys. I've been loving these. Um, and uh, yeah, I love uh, designing with my troll beads. I change my designs often. Um, I don't really have permanent designs with troll beads. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. And I'll see you in my next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye.